بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى آله محمد ومن تبع إحسان إلى يوم الدين All praises for Allah the most gracious the most merciful and I ask Allah to send peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad and whoever follow Prophet Muhammad in good deeds until the day of resurrection Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Now in this sitting we will continue with the rights of the parents and kingship. Now, in the first part of her sitting, I would like to relate to you various hadith of the Prophet ﷺ in regards to the rights of the parents and specifically to the mother. An Habi Huraira. May Allah be pleased with him, reported. A man came or a person came to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and asked, Who among people is most deserving of my fair treatment? The Prophet وسلم, said, Your mother. He asked again, Who next? Your mother, the Prophet وسلم, replied again. He asked, Who next? The Prophet ﷺ replied, your mother. He asked again, then who? Thereupon, the Prophet ﷺ said, then your father. Another narration. O Messenger of Allah, the most gracious, who is most deserving of my fine treatment? He, the Prophet ﷺ said, your mother, then your mother, then your mother, then your father. Then the nearest to you, then the nearest to you. And this hadith is in Al-Bukhari and Muslim. Now, within this hadith, we can clearly see the importance of being good and having good manners to your mother. It was mentioned three times in the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, of the person that are most required and in need of good manners. Your mother, then your mother, then your mother. And after that comes your father. Now one can say there are various reasons for mentioning the mother before. And let's have a look at these reasons. The first one is, and you cannot find this with any other character or any other person within within your life the first of which is the mother is the one that had or has been carrying you for nine months prior to your birth and this is exclusively for the mother the second is the mother is the one that breastfed you throughout the early stages of your life. The other reason, one can say, the mother is the one that bore pain at the time of your birth. No one else bears this pain. And also, the mother is the one that breastfed you within the three or the two years of your early lifestyle or your lifespan, which had disturbed her sleeping affairs at these periods of time. And also, to add to that, the mother had to restrict herself from various food in order to please you and also to give you a healthy breastfeeding stage. Now let's go to another hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. And Habi Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. The Prophet ﷺ said, May he be disgraced. May he be disgraced. 
may he be disgraced. Whose parents, one or both, attain old age during his lifetime and he does not enter Jannah? Okay, may Allah be sallallahu alayhi wa By rendering beyond duty, dutifulness to them. And this hadith is in the Prophet, in the book of Muslim. Now, let's look at the word Raghima. Means soil. When a person knows is soiled, it marks the extreme or the utmost humilitant or humiliation of that person. This, met this metaphor carries a curse for any unfortunate person who does not win the pleasure of Allah the most gracious by serving and obeying his parents. In fact, it's a very medication Meditation as well as a prediction of someone's unhappy situation. Now, within this hadith, you can see that the Prophet wasalam, spoke negatively about that person. Rakiba Anf, the person that knows has been soiled. Rakiba Anf. Why is this? According to the hadith of the Prophet wasalam, this person had or met his mother and father when they were a stage of elderly. So they were in a stage where they were in the utmost need of their offspring's service. And what happened in this stage? The kids or the children did not work or serve their mother and father in the best possible way in their last stage of their lives. Now let's be realistic. Your mother and father worked and sustained you in the few years of your existence and before your existence too. Wouldn't it be more God-fearing, sensible, realistic, to do them good when they're in their elderly age of their life? Wouldn't that be realistic to do? First, of course, you, you worship Allah, the Most High. Then you give thanks to your mother and father for doing all their deeds within your period of life. And so forth. So you can see that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned this or these types of people within the hadith. The person that will be humiliated because of their undutiful actions that they perform within the last stages of their mother or father's life. Now let's be realistic. Are we trying our best to implement this sunnah and especially this hadith in our lives? Are we being dutiful to our mother and father, especially your mother? Are we? Now, if you take a time and give an account for yourself and your sins, which we are all are accountable for, you can see that we need to increase our faith in Allah and increase our consciousness of Allah's knowledge of what we're doing on a daily lifestyle. Whether in regards to your mother or father's right, we should be conscious of the actions we're doing. Or are we being obedient for, forth and foremostly to Allah the Most High? Are we? Or it's a just a matter of speaking that we're a faithful Muslim brother or sister. And secondly, are we being dutiful to our mother? Are we? When our mother asks us to do something, do we try our best to implement it the way that your mother wants it? For example, bring in an instrument to her. Do we do this? Are we respectful in what we say to our mother and father? Are we? These are things we have to be account of, take account of before we give an account on the day of judgment. And don't forget the shaitan, the shaitan, who is an enemy to you and me, works 
day and night to deceive us of the reality of the situation. And he works hard to take us from the straight path that Allah Azzawajal has ordained for us to follow. Now we are we doing our best to, to worship Allah and to be grateful to Him? I've heard many situations where brothers and sisters are undutiful to their mother, ill-mannered to them, abusive to them, unappreciative of their efforts throughout their life. Now, let's be conscious. Let's be brave. Let's be God-fearing of what we say, what we do, and what we think about our mother and fathers. Let's be dutiful to them. Let's be kind to them. Let's be open mind to any situation that they may have that would allow them to act in a way that would maybe be considered to somewhat unpleasing or displeasing to your personal belief. But keep in mind that everything that we do and everything that we say is written down. And we have to give an account of this on the Day of Judgment. And the Prophet ﷺ has mentioned, the sensible person is the one that acts in a way and prepares for the hereafter. The person, the person, the sensible person is the one that works hard, implements Islam in the way that's required from the Sunnah, and he prepares for the life after death. May Allah purify, purify our thoughts, our actions, and our overall behavior in his sight, and give us an overwhelming ending in this life and allow us all to go to Jannah and he is above and capable of doing anything. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah.